What's up guys? It's winter time here in the Bay Area and that means that perch fishing is just about to heat up. One of the most frustrating things with perch fishing is getting the time to go fish and realizing that the weather is not cooperating. So I'm going to do a quick video on some tips that I use to catch fish even though the weather is not ideal. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, the first step you want to take when you're uh, going to fish when the water is rough, you know the, the swell is going to be up, is you want to uh, find a place that's going to be a little bit protected from the swell. Um, so I got a map of the Bay Area here, um, but you can apply this to really anywhere. You fish the East Coast, West Coast, you know, North, South, anywhere will work. So um, a lot of times for us, the swell is coming from the uh, West towards the East. And um, so in that case, you're going to want to find something that's a little protected. So like, for example, this area right around here, this is going to be basically a direct hit from the swell. So these the waves are going to be the biggest right around here. Um, but if you can find some places like maybe this up here, there's some, like if I zoom in a little bit, um, you know, some protected areas around here. Obviously in here is going to be a little bit more protected. Um, a lot of this area right here is not going to be too good. Um, there's a little protected area here. Um, and if we go all the way down to the Santa Cruz, you know, there's some protected areas here. Um, those are going to be the places you want to start. Now, obviously, some of these places are going to, you know, be rocky or maybe even a protected area. So you're going to want to check that before you go and make sure, one, it's a legal place to fish. And two, you know, you can even fish there. Um, you want to make sure that one, it's a legal place to fish and two, um, it's a place that you can even access and, and you know, get your line in. Um, but those are good places to start. Like I said, the, the only way to know for sure if you haven't been there is to go check it out. So I highly encourage you to do that. Um, but yeah, those are good places to start when the swell is up, finding a place where the, the waves aren't going to be too big or it's um, unfishable. Like I said earlier, if you if you fish on the East Coast, West Coast, you know, Northern California, Southern California, or really anywhere, um, you can apply this. You just go take a look at your your map here and and uh, find a good place to a good place to start fishing. So anyway, that's it for uh, this portion of the video. Now we'll go head out to the beach and see what we can find. What's up guys, back out at the beach, doing some surf fishing today. Um, the conditions today are a little bit tough. The uh, swell's a little up, it's a little windy, and there's some seaweed in the water, which always makes things a little tough. But we do have overcast skies, so that's in our favor. Uh, I mentioned previously, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, I, I like fishing in the surf when it's, when it's a little overcast compared to bluebird skies it just seems like the fish tend to bite better but other than that it's gonna to be tough conditions today we're gonna to see if we can get some fish to bite uh, we're gonna be using some sand crabs on a Carolina rig so yeah like I was saying you got some seaweed in the water which can complicate things a little bit but we're gonna fight through that and see if we can catch some fish fishing here with all this swell and seaweed but I think we finally got our first fish here not a giant but it should be a solid feels like a solid fish on the sand crab yeah not a bad one there about a pound or so all right there's fish number one polar please <laughs> we brought shorts Suits, we brought, you know, it was just weird because you just kind of go, hmm, uh -huh. what do I bring? Yeah. You know, and we even had ready for anything. Packs, sleeping bags, yeah.
stone rack. All right, guys, so one tip when you're fishing in rough conditions like we have today is I like to put a little bit more weight on my line and cast it a little bit farther than I normally would. Just because I think when the water is stirring up like it is right now, the fish tend to go out a little bit farther. They don't want to be right in close right here where all the waves are breaking. So one tip, that, one thing that I like to do when to improve my uh, fish catching when the conditions aren't ideal, is toss it out a little bit farther than normal. All right, there's our extra, extra long cast. Let's see if we can get the fish. Fish on. There you go, with that little bit longer cast. I think there's more fish out a little bit farther today, just with that. The swell a little bit higher than normal, causing the waves to be a little bit bigger than normal. But hey, just gotta find the fish and you can catch them. I don't think it's a very big one. But we'll take it. It's been a tough day today. About half a pound or so. For our third fish of the day. Toss him back. There he goes. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you have any tips or tricks that I didn't cover, make sure to leave a comment below, and if you have any questions, um, leave a comment there as well, and I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, but that's it for now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we're definitely gonna be having more perch videos coming up with the, in this winter, so thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.